was. Like what? Well, I was in residency in London, and I knew him fairly well because he was dating my roommate. <laughs> okay. Her name was Siobhan. Was? Yes, yeah, she's dead. She died. And I blame him for that. We, we, we just want you to know some things about David because we... What do you, do you think, you think that he's going to kill me? Is that what you're saying? Alex? <sighs> I, I don't think that he would harm you physically in any way. It's... Okay, then what are you saying? Oh, it's so hard for you to hear. Well, it's just a little, yeah, so why do you say it? Because I really do believe that he is responsible for Siobhan's death. You know what, and I'm sorry, I, think... I have to stop you. I, I apologize, I'm, I'm sorry that about your friend i'm sorry that you think that david is such a threat but this just is uh, ringing a little false D to D me dixie, dixie we wouldn't be saying these things if we didn't think they were true if you think alex that david is such a threat why do you work with him here at the hospital if you think that he is truly responsible for your friend's death why do you share an office with him isn't he the man that practically brought your husband back from the dead and you still think, though, he's a bad man, and I shouldn't have anything to do with him? It's not that simple. Well, uh, you tell me what it is, because, you know, the whole tribal council of Pine Valley has weighed in on this before you came back to town. I've had to listen to Brooke and my husband and his brother and, and everybody else and all my in-laws. More than once, David has been in a storm for me, okay? More than once. He saved my life. More than once. He doesn't tell me what to do or how to think or what to feel. And honestly, that's a lot more than most people in this town, including every one of my friends and all of my family have done. Dixie, we are trying to warn you who this man is. Who was he to you, Dimitri? Wasn't he the guy that saved your life? Saved you from an illness that was killing you? And keeping you away from all the people that you loved? Wasn't that, David? Yeah, yeah, it was. And I'll always be grateful to him for that. Dixie, I don't have blinders on about this guy. I mean, whatever good he's done for his patients, for me, for you, there is another side to him. And the longer you don't look at that, the more pain it's going to cause you, Alex and I are trying to protect you from that if we can. That's what, that's what you want. And it, hopefully it's what you want, too. You know what I want? I just want everybody to leave me the hell alone. Help, Dixie, but do you realize what you almost did? Look, if there's anyone I know that can be trusted, it's Dixie. That's not the point. My sister's safety depends on her remaining hidden. Now, that, that would not happen if Dixie knew the truth about David. You don't know that. I, I, Alex, I'm trying to make a point. Dixie has no idea what David is capable of. I agree. I'm not going to sacrifice my sister's safety in order to clue her in. We tried to tell her. And she, she did not hear it. Alex David is silencing us by blackmailing us. Very successfully. Yes, that's exactly my point. If we tell Dixie that her boyfriend drugged everybody on the yacht, David's going to go out and tell the entire world Anna is alive. I do not think that Dixie would repeat that to him. What? In your perfect universe, we tell her that she's falling in love with a rat? And she leaves him without any explanation? Oh, now we're going to get a little snippy, right? Because you're being an idiot. Thank you very much. Listen, I love you, but I don't think you understand the gravity of this situation. The hell I don't. Isn't there another way we can look out for Dixie? Well, all right, all right, what's left? What's left? You told her that David was responsible for your roommate's death. She didn't blink an eye. So what are we going to do? I mean, we can't just let her walk into a full-blown relationship with David Hayward. How do you tell someone not to feel what they're feeling? Well, you tell someone that's falling in love with a pathological liar. I mean, right there, there's a little bit of a door that opens up. See? All right. Please give me a chance to get Anna back on her feet so that she can look after herself. And then we will expose David. We'll parade him through the square. And whatever what, you want to what do. What if we're too late? What if she wrecks her marriage, walks away from her family, and into the arms of David Hayward? How are we going to feel then? All right, all right. 
Anything else you need? Uh, I need the library, actually, to get some more books. So, is that you or me? No, uh, it's me, it's me. Hello. Deadman. Wait, wait. Uh, how long ago? Yeah, uh, she's right here with me. Yeah, we'll hurry. It's him. Tell me on the way. Anna, just hang in there, okay? Just take it easy. Alex is on her way. She's gonna help you. Who's Alex? Ah, uh, your, your sister. Remember your twin sister? You're here at her house with her husband, Dimitri? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, don't be. You're just disoriented. You're so patient. You're so kind. I love you, Robert. Bart's outside. Yeah, he's standing guard. He can't take it when she suffers like this. What happened? She had another seizure. Was it bad? It was pretty intense. She's still disoriented. She thought that I was her husband, Robert Scorpio. She remembered him? Yeah, well, she called me by his name. I didn't think she still had those memories. I thought they'd all been wiped away by the illness. Well, is that a good sign? Yeah. Yeah, it could be. She's in pretty bad shape right now, Alex. When she's sleeping, she's burning up. Well, she had a fever. That's going to trigger another seizure. We have to get her to a hospital. We have to get her to a hospital immediately. Alex, we thought we agreed that it was too risky. It's too risky to keep her here. I thought I could treat her myself, find the right combination meds, but it's not working. Alex, are you are you sure? Yes, she's having seizures. She has a fever. There's nothing else you can give her? I need to do a series of tests. I have to make an accurate diagnosis. I can't do that here. I have to go to a hospital. And if the people who are trying to kill her find out I'll where she is... I'll be the one to kill her if I keep her here. Then we move her. But not to Pine Valley. Let's take her to Seaview. Less chance of her being recognized than you too. Okay, I'll make some calls from the house. You stay here with her, please. You contact me immediately if something changes. Right. 